guys and welcome to a new GTK link button tutorial today we are going to learn about how we can apply signals and of course um, we have some functions which uh, we didn't use and I told you in the last video that we are going to work with them today uh, I mean in uh, signal video sorry anyway uh, the functions I was talking about were GTK link button get visited and GTK button a link button set visited those two functions are those which we are working with but our main uh, goal today it is about signals and not about those functions this means uh, now we are here at uh, GTK link button reference and I'm going to click on the right side right here where it says signals and as you can see it says there is one signal which it which is of g boolean type so i'm going to click on it and says we need to create a user function g boolean uh, which uh, it's a g boolean function takes two parameter the button itself and the uh, possible uh, data which you can provide for it and so on and of course says the active link signal is emitted each time the gtk link button has been clicked so the default handle, handler will call GTK show URI on window with the URI store beside the URI property. Okay. So to override the default behavior, you can connect to the active link, uh, link signal and stop the propagation of the signal while turning true. Okay. So let us concentrate on this part right here. This means uh, what do we need? We need to first thing first. I'm going to catch it right here just to be a little bit different from uh, okay signals which means we are going to catch the signals just before after we create the link button so that being said g signal connect swap I'm going to use it again link button the second one it is our activate link and of course next one it will be our g callback function we are going to call it some activate um, yeah whatever link callback something like this and of course because we are calling the swap version of the g signal connect we are going to use the same one now and let us create the activate link callback function we go back a little bit and here says it should be a g boolean so g boolean activate link callback and of course we need to provide um, our parameter in this case uh, it is our link button so this means gtk link but link button and of course our link button pointer and the second parameter because it is a g boolean uh, we are not going to use it the data uh, anyway uh, we are not going to work with events or signals in different way other than uh, that which was already provided so that being said now we have the function let us fix the prototype also well now uh, what we can do we can first start with um, let me copy this one right here because I need two tabs for a second just to go faster for one tab to another one so I'm going back now and uh, let us see what's the story with get visited it says retrieves the visited state of the URI where the GTK link button points so the button becomes visited when it is clicked if the URI is changed on the button the visited state is unset again whoa if the URI is changed okay so this is basically if you set a new uh, URL uh, uh, a new link a new website or something no we are not going to do that but let's see how it's working so that being said this function takes one uh, parameter which means we need to go back back we need to provide the one argument which is the link button itself okay now because we provided the GTK link button we don't need cast and so on this is the thing which I like it we we let uh, GTK to do the job for us so this means G print and let's say uh, the visit state the visit 
visited state visited yeah right the visited state is and then um, of course uh, we are going to call this function gtk link button get visited and we are going to pass our link button right here now watch return let's go back a little bit to whoa i closed okay no no problem i open it again like i said i need both so let us go back to signals and here it says that to override the default behavior you can connect to the activate link so basically we are doing something like this and stop the propagation of the signal by returning true so let us for a second return true and see wh where the difference takes place and now let's see we create a gboolean function and we are returning true and we are calling the gtk link button get visited on it and here we said g signal connect swap we are swapping basically the same one to uh, to uh, provide only one right here we don't need now a parameter or something so we are saving our um, list of parameters and activate link it is the signal which we are trying to catch it and then we are calling this callback function which is activate link callback okay so i'm going to compile it and run it and as you can see now i'm going to click on the youtube right here and says the visitor state is zero i'm going to click again and again 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 you see how many times do i click it is always zero so basically this is the part which says to stop the propagation this means now if i uh, change it to false which indeed we need it to catch our to catch our signal and let it propagate is to return false and now when i click on youtube bam it says youtube.com so basically it's working it's opening it's taking a little bit time because of my internet connection and so on and now if i click again on the youtube says the visited state the visited state now we have two youtubes right here and uh, it says the visited state now is one so uh, no matter let me let me fix the size of this so that we have them all right here so now no matter how many times do i click right here you see it's opening again and again and again and said the state is one so this means the state is changed from uh, zero to one okay good now let us close all those things right here let me let me go back a little bit okay make big again and now let us see what's the story with um, with uh, set visited it says set the visited state of the uri where the g link by points to so see gtk link by point. okay so let let us try something now i'm going to copy this one right here i'm going to call it just after we use the gtk link button get visited right here and it says two parameters so the first argument is our link button the second one is the state in this uh, because it's a g boolean means for us uh, visitor means true or false you know already okay so link button and let's set it to true and see what happens so now we set it to true and also we are returning false just to see what's the difference now and if there is one so i'm going to move it right here i'm going to move this one right here as well uh, let me make it again smaller i'm going to click on youtube say the state is zero and the youtube is opening if i click now again say the state is one and youtube again is opening so works fine so basically we have no changes right here which is true now what happens if we return now to false to true sorry i'm going to compile it and run it at this point before i click the buttons what do we have now uh, we are checking the state of the link and also we set the link to true but we are also returning true so now i'm going to click on youtube and as you can see the state is changing from zero to one but we cannot open the link page why well because now we decide to set it to true not to false to have it to false we need to uh, to uh, to open the link we need to return to false so basically if you use now false right here this function call right here 
has no meaning anymore at in this context anyway there is something important which we are going to talk about this one uh, if you remember when you visit a link uh, I don't know let me go right here and you click on the GTK window and then you click on window new or something if you go back you know that uh, it's changing the color because me I set my browser because I have a lot of uh, things which I deactivate but uh, you know the browser uh, stay check it I think it was uh, uh, pink color something which shows that you already went to that one and so on basically this one is what it says also their properties watch the visitor property says the visitor state of this button so basically a visitor link is drawn in different color it doesn't happen on my system I don't know why maybe because of my theme or something or maybe I, I, I need to do something else to to make it work or to have it in different color I'm not even interesting in this part because me I'm I'm setting the, the those things uh, through CSS so GTK link button service that has no meaning anymore to me in that context but it's there and you know how it's working okay that being said what do we need now uh, I'm going to I'm going to remove this one right here because we didn't need it so now we are going to basically make a test we are going to say if GTK is link button so we are, we are going to check at the beginning because we need to, to be sure that it is a link button and uh, better said if GTK is link button if it's not then exit exit failure I'm going to say you can choose what you want now we can work with our program because it is a link button and we are going to say if it's not and I'm going to copy this one right here and pass it here and I said if GTK link button gets visited is not so which means it's zero it's equal to zero um, I think um, I think I'm missing something here or maybe no no because uh, I'm passing the link button right now here okay well then then uh, we, we were going to set the um, G print uh, opening YouTube for the first time and now we are going to return here false because we need it to inform it and here also true now uh, basically what do we do now let us compile it and run and see what happens I'm going to click on YouTube and says it's opening and says uh, YouTube uh, opening YouTube for the first time of course if I'm clicking again says uh, says it could say uh, if I want again uh, it doesn't do anything else anymore why because uh, let me close it because uh, once that we got a visited a link and returning files next time this one becomes true we are not going coming here inside and because we are not uh, coming so in here inside we are dropping to true and we cannot open our link anymore is that for that we need to choose an else so we are going to say else and here we are going to say g print and uh, the u tube link was clicked was sorry was was clicked 1% d times okay and now we need a count for this which we are going to update it also and because uh, the link button is there we can create here a static one so this is static g uh, g o int u int and then count which we are going to say zero 
and now basically we say say if the GTK link button gets visited is equal to zero or is not so with zero then open it for the, just this means we are opening for the first time as the YouTube link was clicked how many times we are going to see and we are going to return also files here now let us compile it and run and see what happens the YouTube link you saw right here says the YouTube link opening YouTube for the first time I'm going to click again and says the YouTube link the YouTube link was clicked zero times and if I'm clicking again you will notice that the YouTube click basically now it's returning for first time uh, one time so which is wrong because we already open it one time so we need to update the count here as well so count plus plus now we have the first time and here's the second time let's see how it's working of course it should not work the way we are expecting we'll, you'll see in a moment I'm going to click again and says the YouTube link was clicked one time no the, the YouTube was two times now so where's the problem the problem is that uh, you have two options whether you set the count to one or you change the count plus plus to plus plus count so which means you are updating first your variable and then you print it to the screen which should be now fine let's see I'm going to click uh, on it and YouTube is running and our program say opening YouTube for the first time and now when I clicking again it's opening the second YouTube page and our screen says the YouTube link was clicked two times which is right which is the writing which we need to do for it so basically this is the thing which you need let me remove this thing right here because we don't need it anymore this is the thing which you need to do or this is something like what you need to do when you are creating the activate link callback function for your GTK link button and then when you catch that signal on your button to use it as its callback so that being said thank you guys for watching if you like it please subscribe share with your friends and neighbors and until next time see you guys